Uh, it's a blessing, you know, getting to represent um, the Polynesian people and being this far out here is just an amazing opportunity uh, to represent the Polynesian and, you know, it's a blessing to be selected to be on the watch list, so yeah. Talk a little bit about the competition between the linebackers and kind of what you see in the group. Honestly, everybody in, there, in that group can play. Uh, KJ, we got K4, Flag, everybody can play in that room, so the competition is up there. So. You know what Coach DNA tells us. You know um, whoever's on that field, he's a starting, you know, he's a starting backer. So that's the kind of mindset we're going into this um, practice, and that's how we attack it. So yeah. Obviously, you know, as a linebacker, you guys aren't necessarily defending deep passes. But what have you seen from the, the passing game, just from when you've been working in coverage? I'm talking about like from a defensive prospect. Yeah. Perspective? yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, we we keep getting better every day. Uh, the, the offense uh, doing a good job of showing different concepts and you know trying to give diff different looks and. You know, it challenges us to, to think out of the box, and you know, we got to adjust now um, to get to perfect that. So, yeah. On the running backs you go up against in practice, how have they looked and who's standing out? All the running backs are really good. Um, AJ is a really good back. Um, that guy seems to find a hole every single time. Uh, you got a very elusive back uh, like uh, Mark Fletcher, who can, who's a really power, powerful guy, and he can run the ball. And we got Dom Chaney, who finds a hole too and hits it full speed. And we got Henry Paris out there too, very really shifty, make make people miss. So you got a really good group out there. So yeah. You got your first game coming, getting closer. Yeah. Are you thinking about it a little bit more now. I try to try to be neutral. Um, think about one day at a time. Don't get in a rush. Um, just the way I think about it. Um, but it's it's really an exciting uh, opportunity to play for Miami. Uh, I can't wait, but you know, take it day at a day at a time. So yeah. And this this will be your first game at Miami. Um, yeah. What would you tell? Even though this will be your first game, you'll mm -hmm. be excited. What would you tell the younger guys? You know, who are for the first time stepping in there, stepping into a real game. I'll say uh, sink in um, the moment. You know, just be in the moment, enjoy the experience, and you know, just have fun. You know, it's you got a long way to go, and you just want to you know calm yourself down and you know just play the ball, play the ball because. I can remember the first time I've been on the field. I was nervous, you know, got stuck, and you know, you know, think too much, and kind of advise the little kids, the, the the freshmen, to you know, to <laughs> to play ball and not think too much. So yeah. Now, I wouldn't call your brother a little kid, but oh, yeah. what would you t what would you tell him? Because I obviously you guys are close, and you're going to be talking because this is his first game too in yeah. college. He seems to be handling this um, really good. Um, I'm surprised. Um, he's very, he's maturing really quick, and he's growing fast. And you know, he's thinking like a pro now. It's not, he's not in the high school anymore. He's, in, he's a college player now. So, he's, I think he's ready for it. So, yeah. Why, why did you decide to come here? What, uh, how did that all work out? And what were the factors? Uh, my brother coming here was a big factor. Uh, my family over here too uh, was a big factor of me. I'm here in Miami. I want to be with my friend, uh, with my family. I feel like I play well when my family is here. Um, I play well with my brother, and you know, it's it was a hard decision to make, but something that I, I was comfortable with. So, yeah. What has been a saying that Coach maybe um, Coach Chris Bons maybe been telling you guys to keep you guys motivated and energized if you're willing to share? What was that? Like if a saying that he's been telling you guys, okay, like, hey, stay motivated, stay focused, what has really been the messaging from him to the rest of the team? Uh, just being consistent. Uh, the energy in the, within, within practice got to be the same. We got to be at a high level. Um, he keeps us at a high standard, and we got to, you know, it's not always perfect, but we got we to gotta, we gotta go up there and meet his standards. Uh, but overall, we got to be consistent with practice, bring energy and encourage each other to step up when, when it's time to step up, so yeah. How different is the defense here from what you played in at Washington State? I feel like we, we play aggressive more here. Um, linebackers don't have to think a lot. You just got to hit it, and I think that's a big difference, and I love it because I, I'm a physical guy, I'm a physical guy, and I love running down in the hole and, and hit somebody, so yeah. Can you share your thoughts of your brother having the opportunity to possibly start uh, game one and just uh, just your thoughts of his progress. I keep telling him to you know, be humble. Um, always keep your head on a swivel. Um, don't ever think that um, you know, you're know you in a starting position and then 
try to think, you know, I'm just trying to let him keep it on the low. Um, but I think he's ready. Um, he's, he's well prepared. And, yeah. And the offense, <laughs> excuse me, the offensive line in general, how much is this offensive line going to help this team? This is a really competitive uh, offensive line, line I go, go against every time. Um, they read the defense pretty, pretty well, and we try to give them um, different looks now. It's just, but they're very smart. They pick up on it very fast, and I think it's a really good thing for us. And, yeah, I think we got a really big, uh, big year for the O-line this year, so, yeah. Have you always been treated been the big brother like treating your, your I would I would like to say so yeah um, how's that worked out through the years like what have you helped him with or I'm just giving him some key elements of the defense um, well, how we look at him and like the stuff that he needs to work on as a def uh, as a defensive perspective uh, looking at his body language and all stuff like that that he got to fix so we don't know what's going on for the offensive so yeah